How are you enjoying England, Joseph? This is where your mother and I got married, you know. It caused quite the scandal. The son of an English shopkeeper marrying the daughter of a French businessman. Mm. Our wedding was quite the affair. Do you remember the dancing, Rachel? Oh, of course. How can I forget? Your father is an excellent dancer, Joseph. We could always show him, Adria. William! Oh, not your friend of the public. They'll see us. All they will see is a man who loves his wife and wants to dance with her whenever he can. Stop it! You, you are so silly. <laughs> Coward. I'm sorry, ma'am. You dare dance in the street. In front of God, in front of your son. When there are men, I would suggest better men than you, risking their lives. So I say again. Howard. How dare you, woman, stand there in front of my son and call me such names. I am merely visiting my parents in this great country, my country, and you treat me like this. You hateful lunatic. And what exactly are you doing for this country? Your son deserves to know what a yellow-bellied coward his father really is. I'll give you this. You are so good. Everyone can see the shame you bring on this great nation. Adrienne, Joseph, I think it's high time we took our leave. Come on, sir, do it for your lady and your son. Just let me say goodbye. Papa has to go away for a little while. He has something very important to do. But I will be home as soon as I can, son. Whilst I'm gone, you must be a good boy and do what your mother says. Can you do that for me, Joseph? Yes, Papa. Please. Yes. Adrienne, I do. It's so nice just to see them play like little boys with no fears or worries of this war. Surely that will be the last war that will ever be. And those boys will never have to see the horror again. I hope so. I need my husband home. I'm all right without him. I'm Joseph. He needs his papa. Your husband is going to be fine. They say the war will be over by Christmas. Thank you, Joseph and William. We will be back together. A family once again. yourself, Adrian. I will see you again soon. Thank you. Joseph, 
I need you to listen to me. I need you to hide from Mama and promise not to make any sound. Do you understand? Like we used to play hide and seek when you were little, yeah? I want listen. When the coast is clear and it's quiet, you run. You run to our shinets and you don't stop till you get there. You don't speak to anyone, okay? You remember how to get there. For, for the fields. Yes, good. Shh. No tears now, Josie. Big brave boys don't cry. We'll look back at this and we'll think how silly we both were. Now, now, listen to me. You need to go hide and I will see you at Aunt Jeanette. Be a good boy. Mama loves you, okay? Good boy. I'll see you soon. Go. Eins, zwei, drei. It is with regret that we must inform you that your home was breached by German soldiers and that your wife was unfortunately killed during the altercation. It is with a heavy heart that we must also report that your son, Joseph, has not been seen since the event. William, I can't pretend I know what you're going through right now. We must put this to one side, just for now. These monsters took my wife, and now my son is God only knows where. And now I will look at me. I will not be going back tonight, and I will not let these bastards take me down like this. I will not die on my knees. They will not break me. I am no coward. I know you said brave boys don't cry, Mama, and I didn't. I was brave. This, this is for you. For you, Mama and Papa, for the fallen.